Hey, hey, everybody. Musha the scribe, sending all light, love, and healing energy to all the celestial beings of the cosmos. I know it's been a little minute, um, so before I start uploading other content and things, um, I have different content planned for tonight. Um, I just want to do a quick, uh, I guess, life slash current event um, update, you know? It's been a little while since I talked to y'all. I miss everybody. Mad love, mad love. Um, I don't even really know where to start. Uh, this year has been something else. Um, this year has been extremely enlightening as far as spirituality and information, metaphysics and nature, as well as cosmic energy. But this year has also been a challenge fighting against um, my own and others' low vibrational energy, you know? Um, you know, this year I ended up, I separated uh, from my lady who I was with for, you know, le like 11 years going on 12, mother of my kids and everything. Um, you know, and it's just me and my, my kids in here. Y'all know how that goes. You've seen them in all the videos and things. And um, it's just that situation got to a point where our frequencies didn't match anymore, you know? And these things happen in life and things. And um, other than that, a lot of, I lost a lot of friends this year, um, which is nothing new, but really violently this year, lost a lot of friends to uh, homicides and things this year. Um, also, uh, you know, a few years ago, uh, my little brother was murdered, you know, right around the corner from here. I spoke to y'all about that before. And the dude who actually did it is the orc that did it. He's out here free, you know, walking through the neighborhood. And I see this motherfucker every couple of days and it has taken everything in me not to kill this motherfucker. Um, that's like an inner fight right now for real. And um, with my history of being like gang affiliated and things, you know, that's a hard pill to swallow. So I'm just trying to look toward higher vibrations in the future and trying not to let that shit take over me because I'm not trying to reincarnate again. You know, that is like the goal for this lifetime is to give out the proper information um, for ascension for myself and for others. and. Don't reincarnate again. Don't fail the mission. And that shit's making it hard, man. Um, you could probably imagine, you know, the different emotions and things you go through with some shit like that. Seeing this motherfucker walking on the block like everything's sweet, you know. So I'm just trying not to go backwards with certain things as far as that goes. Um, we talked about before how the coronal mass ejections and the solar flares will begin to start actually affecting things here um and i've seen it myself i'm sure a lot of y'all have seen it in different cities and things um that the wi-fi been fucking up internet's been messing up cables been fucking up you know everything that's running off of uh radio frequencies and uh you know the invisible uh frequencies of these things has has been crazy and um that's because of the radiation in the atmosphere and things and they've been calling different like uh cities and they'll contact you saying like our towers are are currently be uh, experiencing technical difficulties and things but they're not telling people why and that's why the atmosphere is getting so thick with this radiation it's starting to affect the channels that these uh frequencies are being casted on um the frequencies are changing like so it's hard for them to keep up. It's like uh, tuning a radio when you got a Bluetooth hooked up and somebody else's signal is stronger than yours and it's pulling it away and now you're getting static and things of that nature. You know, it's, it's along those lines. Um, so I just wanted to speak on that a little bit. I know everybody's probably seen the um, debate between Biden and Trump. It was a circus, right? <laughs> I, I was... I was shocked at how disrespectful, unmannered, and 
uncoordinated they were. Um, it was it was a a damn show, man. It was a reality TV show. Like this this whole thing is crumbling in front of us, and they're trying so hard to keep it together. And yo, know, that dude Trump don't give a fuck about shit, man. He called Shorty's son a crackhead and everything. And I was like, yo, is this really the president of the United States? <laughs> That's all I could think. Like, man, and you know, I'm not I'm not super big into politics or anything, but I just I knew it was gonna go down. <laughs> I could feel it. I was like, yo, something's not right with this. I gotta tune in tonight. And uh I know everybody probably saw, I forgot what his name is, the politician with the, the fly resting on his head for his whole speech and everything man nature knows bullshit when they see it and when they hear it you know and um deeper than that i feel like either he's being affected for his position in politics by the radiation by higher beings or he was high on adrenochrome and um that shit was in his system and that fly was was on his ass <laughs> you know um, what else has been going on here in the world? Nature is still going crazy. The radiation level is still going crazy. I think we got hit with a CME maybe a week ago that was larger than anyone in recorded in our current uh, recorded history. Um, that shit was extremely crazy to me. I've been noticing a lot of changes in people around me in like everyday life um and it's kind of hard to explain it's like right now i know for me personally it's easier to see aura um it's easy to see through a lie right now um and i feel like people's physical traits are starting to change and including myself um it's weird because you know when you see yourself every day um, because you know we use mirrors, we we on the on the cameras and the phones and things of that nature. You don't notice notice certain shit um, about yourself, but start looking at the people around you, um, because I feel like something's off. Like body formations are changing, and even like the breathing patterns of people are, are different. People's motions and how they've been moving have been more sporadic, and. I don't, I can't exactly put my finger on it, but shit's different. Um, another thing I haven't spoke on in a few, um, you know, I, I lucid dream uh, a lot, but this shit that's been happening for like the last month, I would say it's, it's gotta be something along the lines of remote viewing and it's not with randoms. It's a lot of the time now it's with like people I love like I'm seeing their life and I'm talking to them the next day and they're like yo how do you how do you know that because we haven't even spoken I'm like I saw that shit like through your eyes like I, I I saw your whole day freaked my boy Leo out um a BM too dude, freaked her out and I'm like yo like I don't know what the fuck is going on but like People I can, would consider like I love like family and things like I, I've been I've been seeing their daily through through their own perspective for real like and um that shit's kind of strange um I've been doing a lot of research here lately as well I got the uh, MacBook repaired and it's back fixed up so I'm getting back to the point to where I'll start dropping documentaries again and things like that um. I talked to my friend over in Hawaii again, and there's a lot of cult shit going on over there as far as people denouncing um, religions and people doing abductions and kidnappings and shit like that shit is on the rise right now um, uh, from different races that you'd be surprised. Uh, things are weird right now. Um, the actual weather itself up here where I'm at, it snows every Halloween. Faithfully, it doesn't matter if we had a great summer and the fall is still hot and it's a it's hot as shit the week before. Once Halloween hits, it's snowing. So Halloween's around the corner, and I'm gonna make sure I do a video and show y'all because like it, it's never not snowed yet.
um, on Halloween. And I always thought that was weird. Uh, even though I'm from Maryland, I thought it was weird for Pennsylvania because Maryland, we get snow late. It rarely snows on Christmas in Maryland. Some years it does, but we start getting snow in Maryland, maybe January is something like that. But like where I'm at in PA, by Halloween, it's on and cracking. Um, so yeah, I know this video is a little lengthy, but I just wanted to actually sit and take the time to talk to y'all a little bit before I start doing actual videos on different topics and things of that nature. Um, shout out to everybody, um, new and old. I've still been receiving a lot of, of uh, notifications from comments and things like that. And um, I've been driving back and forth a lot from Pennsylvania to Maryland a lot here lately. Um, but I see y'all mad love, man. Y'all know it's mad love forever, for real. This life in the next, it'll, that'll never change, for real. So just, I feel like we're all being tested in different ways right now. And we can't lose to the low vibrational shit. like. This, the time right now is like, their low vibes are getting pushed out from somewhere and it could either be a test or it can be a, a spiritual attack, but we gotta stay ahead of that shit for real. So that's what it is. <laughs> high all the time, high vibrations. Um, but I'm gonna get into a few topics here in a second. Uh, get my boys settled and all that and hit y'all with a few videos. Sorry this video is so long, but hey, it's been a minute. <laughs> Sending all light love and healing energy to all the celestial beings of the cosmos. Mad love.